Right guys, <laughs> welcome to Friday the 10th of April. If you oh, my battery's dying now as well. Right, it's all going pear shaped. I'm in the firings field, which is our hay field. My battery's about to die on my phone. I've recorded this about 10 times so far, and each one I've cocked it up, or something's happened. So, I'm down here with a play on mower, trying to smash up all this monkey hay that I've thrown out with the monkey predators last week. I've got the mower set quite low to smash the hay up and to cut the grass. It'll also roll the grass and stimulate the grass once it gets going. The monkey hay is being smashed up quite nicely. It's getting mixed in with the new green stuff so it should rot down quite well. And the field's not doing too bad. Um, it is a bit wet, we might get around to seeing it if my battery doesn't die. And if my battery dies, well, I'll see you later. <laughs> we'll try and get we'll try and get as much of this video done as I possibly can before it goes and dies. So uh, yeah. I've been down here for about an hour now. Uh, Self-isolating. For any, anybody who doesn't know, we're still in the coronavirus lockdown. We're now into week three, I think it is now. Um, I'm struggling to remember what days and weeks it is, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it's week three now. So, it's a little bit odd because I'm starting to wonder if they've lifted the ban already. And I'll explain why. We are, yeah, he's going to be a bit of a load. <laughs> we are about three miles, four miles maybe, um, upriver from the local village. And we are about two hours, maybe two and a half hours from the nearest local town, down river. Now, for the hour that I've been sat in this tractor cab, going up and down, we've had... 14 or 15 people go past and I can see somebody else coming up now right down river um, it's an odd one I mean for me we've all been asked to stay at home to try and save NHS and save lives and I appreciate people have got to go out and stretch their legs but we are a considerable amount of time away from doing just an hour's exercise. Now, in itself, no, I can't see the harmony. But we have four sets of gates to get through. Because we're obviously holding livestock. And if any livestock owner, oh, well, owner, farmer knows. Right, you're just about to see the messy bit I made a cock up with. This is when I was trying to record. You can speak of that! Uh, it'll come back. Right, so yeah, if anybody actually, people understand that you need gates to keep livestock in. Full enough, if you ask them to stay where you want them to stay, they don't seem to want them to stay. So you put gates up and fences up. Now, the four gates are all shut, so you've got to stop, open the gate catches, go through it, and then shut it. Now, if 13 people have been through, that's 13 sets of hands. I think it was uh, four groups, five groups of people have been through. So suddenly that's five chances of being able to catch or have spread the coronavirus around. For me, it's not too much of a worry because we've got a pedestrian gate as well as a machinery gate. And when I'm in the transfer, I'm going through the machinery gate. And realising how many people are now walking up and down the river, I'm sticking with the machinery gates. But for being where we are, we should be fairly isolated in a way. So there we go, some more people cycling up the river now. Um, it's just a little bit worrying that then somebody out here could be spreading this virus. So we've got 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 people now that have been passed all using the same gate. I do feel, well, sorry for the guys that are having to go through his gates every day. The farmers that have to work with his gates to try and check the cattle or whatever else they have because they are being exposed to it. 
I don't know about anybody else, but I'd quite like to 